Hi, today I'm going to show you how to log in to the back end of your website. So what you'll do is you'll just go to the top here and at the end of .co.za you're going to type in forward slash wp dash admin. You'll wait for the page to load, then your uh, this is your login page. Your login details will be sent to you via email. Mine are preloaded. And then this is your dashboard. So as you can see, it will say, welcome to WordPress. We will just close that, close this one. These are your, your dashboard where you can see some notifications about Elementor, about WordPress. On your left-hand side here is in the black column. And these are the sections. So this is where your posts are kept. That is, the posts are your daily posts, uh, which um, you will upload via the app which again, I will come around and set that up for you in person. Then your media library is, is here. So if you click on media library, these are all the images that have been uploaded to your website. There they all are there. If we go to pages here, these are all the pages that we use to build your website. If we go to WooCommerce, this is where your orders are. This is where your products are. So now this is where your products are for your, so as you see, full day Merlin fishing, full day game fishing, half day. So that is where you would go and edit those products, which I will do in another video. If we go down to this one here, we go all bookings. This will show you your calendar. As you can see there, you've got one book in there, right? Then you go to add a booking. We scroll to the top. Sorry, we can just close this. We'll, uh, there's right here. There's add booking, which will be done in another video, but that is how, that will show you how to add a booking. Let's say your friend phones you up or sends you a booking via WhatsApp, then you've got to log into the website and you've got to add the booking. Otherwise, someone else could book. Uh, then you've got some analytics, some marketing, some templates here. You don't really need to worry about those. Your appearance, it's your theme. These are your plugins. These are the plugins that we use to build your website with. So all of these, there's 11 of them that we use to build your website with your users. So every time someone purchases something, this is where they will uh, you, their accounts will be stored. At the moment, it's just me. I am an administrator. When someone purchases something, or sorry, when someone books something rather on your website, it will show customer. And then there will be their email address, their name, and all of that. Then you've got some tools down here. Then you've got some settings. These are the custom field groups that we use, which you don't really need to fiddle with because otherwise it could interfere with the layout of your website. This is your Yoast. This is for Google. And then these are some uh, unlimited elements. These are the little widgets that we use to, to build your website, which I will cover about widgets in another, in another uh, video. But this is how you would log in and navigate the dashboard of your website.